Greetings, Phoenix fans. The future editing version of David Sanders here again to welcome you back to my beginner's guide to Sid Meier's Civilization VI. As I explained at the rather abrupt end of last episode, I have decided upon talking with some colleagues of mine to do my best to make this series more digestible for especially those of you who might just be starting out with Civ VI, for whom this guide is mostly meant. Because if I were in your position, I know I wouldn't necessarily want to sit down and watch a guide that takes an hour or two per episode to get anywhere. So, I uh, have elected to start this episode at a different point than I normally would, and have elected to also forego my normal intro. So, uh, this will basically be the same for every episode in this guide, and uh, that's basically it. So... On with the show! Man, you barbarians just don't learn, do you? Alright. You guys are gonna step back over there to heal up for a few turns. You guys are gonna fortify. You guys are gonna fortify. You guys are definitely gonna fortify. And then in Sterling, gonna make... We're actually gonna make a couple of settlers. No, no, just one for now. Then we're going to make a commercial hub, which shall be placed there. Then, then a government plaza, which is, I believe, introduced in Rise and Fall. So once that's built, I'll show you what it does. We'll put it right there. Okay. What was the point of that, barbarians? You just got yourselves killed for no reason. Alright, you guys are going to head back into friendly territory. Actually, you guys are going to go get that tribal village real quick. You guys are going to fortify until healed. Okay. So now, I say we get ourselves a coastal city if we can. Looks like we might be able to. Yeah. We'll just settle down there. Alright, you guys are gonna go get them. You guys are gonna get that. Oh, sweet. That, uh, finished off the civic we were researching. Who we got? Great scientist. Awesome. Alright, and then... You know what? Let's try and build the Oracle. Why not? Okay, so then... Defensive tactics, I think. I can feel something coming in my bones and I don't like it. Someone might try to kill us again. So we're gonna send you to the campus, do your thing. Stirrups and mathematics. Awesome. You guys are gonna go get them. You guys are going to help go get them. Oh, that's Japan? Yeah. One man's magic. Get them, boy. Oh, you should probably be promoted first. There you go. Alright, get them, boys. You guys can go down and help, too. Alright. Uh, you guys can go back to friendly territory. What are we researching? Mathematics, I suppose? Alright, and then... Oop. Alright, so we got ourselves a heroic age. See how the map got a lot brighter? That's what happens when, uh... You get a Golden Age, too. So you're gonna go stab them. They're standing on a tribal village, too. How convenient. Alright, so since we're in a Heroic Age... See, we get 1.5 loyalty pressure per citizen per city. And instead of one dedication, as uh, this is exclusive to Heroic Ages, we get to make three. So we're gonna go boop, boop, and boop. And that'll do. All right. 
You guys are gonna kill these guys. You guys are gonna kill these guys. You guys are just gonna hang out for a bit. Uh, where'd I get this scout? I don't know. Just send them to explore automatically. Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Yeah, and I suck at math, unfortunately. So. Alright, stab them. And that's another three arrow score for dealing with all those freaking barbarians. You guys are gonna fortify until healed. Okay, now we can get Celestial Navigation, because it's one of the ones I always forget about. Alright, you guys can go back to friendly territory, because we don't need you. Your delegate has learned that Japan has cleared land for the Oracle. I got bad news for you. And... settle. Alright. So. Now we've got a coastal city. So we're gonna start with one of those, and walls, and one of those. And then, we're gonna make an entertainment complex. Then a theater square, or it probably won't let us do that, actually. Just make a couple of builders after the entertainment complex. I sprang upon the swift ship in the form of a dolphin. Pray to me as Apollo Delphinius. Also, also the altar itself shall be called Delphinius and, and overlooked forever. Okay, cool. So that's a thing that we have now. Who we got? Another great scientist, awesome. Can we purchase any great people? Not quite. Uh, but maybe soon. Whatever. We got a great scientist, we'll take it. So we got apprenticeship, uh, construction, and castles, awesome. Now what are we going to build? Uh, you know what? Let's make a couple more builders, because there are some uh, improvements around here that need to be made. And then... We can build an aqueduct there, I suppose. And then we'll see how things go after all that's done. You guys can go over there. Defense is superior to opulence. Alright, uh... You guys can go back to friendly territory. Even though it's gonna take you a while. Theology, because we're almost done with that anyway. Okay. So now that we have a second city, we should probably get another governor. So we're gonna go with Magnus. Put you there. No particular reason I picked Magnus, by the way. Just kinda... Thought I could use his promotions for a bit. Okay, we could use the science, so we're gonna trade with that Japanese city. Not even gonna try to butcher the pronunciation of that, intentionally or otherwise. Uh, let's get construction. Alright, so we got a builder. We gotta get some more horses. There we go. You guys can hang out. Exact religious thinking without theology. Okay. Let's get naval tradition, because otherwise I'm gonna forget about it and it's gonna come back to bite me. Okay, let's just send that there. Alright. Yeah, let's do that for now. We could use the gold. You guys can fortify. Uh, you guys can build a farm there. You guys can go build a plantation on those bananas. Japan wants open borders. I see no problem with this whatsoever. Create with the heart. Alright. You guys, what are you going to do? 
You're gonna go make a camp on that uh, tile of deer. You guys are gonna go back to friendly territory. Uh, let's get... Hmm. Let's get military tactics, I guess. Don't really know why. Alright, so camp. Plantation. Kajingle. Alright, that uh, got us the Eureka for military engineering, which is nice. You guys are going to fortify. What's this city going to make now? Alright, we could definitely use a commercial hub, so we're going to build one of those. And we're going to plonk it right there. And then you guys can go up here and make a farm. Uh-oh, we're losing religious pressure. I wonder why that is. Let's buy a couple missionaries. There we go. That should help once they start spreading the religion. Okay. So do that. You guys are going to go to this other city that we founded. Start spreading the religion there. You guys are going to chill right there. Uh, you guys are going to go build a mine on that. Sweet. Did he just call me Wikipedia at the end? I feel like he did. Alright, that's a good deal from France. And that'll help us out a bit. Alright. So you guys are going to keep up the religious pressure. And I guess that's my turn. Alright, an extra error score. Nice. So we can upgrade these guys now. There we go. Okay. So you guys are going to that city. Let's get let's get apprenticeship because industrial zones are probably going to be nice. Let's get this great scientist. What do you do again? Okay, cool. The bonus to unit healing will probably come in handy. A good navy is not a provocation. Alright, we're at least guaranteed a normal age next era, so that's cool. Don't have to worry about that. Let's get a temple, a market, and then... Can't build... Can we build any more traders? No. Okay. So then we'll make a settler. And we got another envoy, which is nice. Alright, spread. There we go. That city is now following the holy light. Where's the nearest city-state? Leventa? Okay. Japan's probably going to start converting us soon, or at least attempting to. So we gotta make sure that the pressure from the Holy Light is greater than that of their religion. Alright, so now let's get... Uh, military engineering to reveal Niter on the map. Let's get civil service. And then... We 
can promote Magnus with that one. All right, we'll have a settler up next turn. Cool. We can, uh, where are we gonna settle even? We should probably spread out a bit. You know what, why don't we settle like right there-ish? No, we'll just settle there, I suppose. All right, and then we'll build, uh, one of the... No, let's go straight for the Great Library. And then we'll build one of those. Then we can make another trader. Yes, yes, France. Somebody's jealous. Montezuma wants... Montezuma has no gold. But I'm not going to give him open borders. The more science intervenes in warfare... Have we got Niter around? Uh, not really. Not that I can see, at least. Japan has some. I can see that. Hmm. Alright. You guys just continue what you were doing. Alright. Now let's get education. Who's this? Another great scientist. Awesome. That'll give us an extra 50 faith as well. Okay, so, usual procedure when starting a new city, which is walls, one of those, one of those, one of those, one of the, uh, one of those, I guess. Okay, so you're gonna do your thing. Can we get any great people with faith? Oops, wrong menu. Uh, great admiral that we don't need. Oh, that great merchant is nice. So let's get him. And that got us the Eureka for mercantilism as well. Okay, so he's going to do his thing, and then we're going to trade with... Ooh, that's a lot of gold right there. That'll help significantly. The taxpayer. That's someone. Okay. So now we're going to get Divine Right. Okay. We're going to just buy a builder here. And one of those, too. City needs the farms and whatnot. That should help. Oh, we've got barbarians. And they have boats. Yeah, you better run. We can roam the bloated stacks of the Library of Alexandria, where all imagination and knowledge are assembled. We can recognize in its destruction the warning that all we gather will be lost. Well, that's depressing, but at least we got the wonder, so no one else can have it. Let's see what tech boosts this gives us. Shipbuilding, and that's it. <laughs> okay. Fine by me, I guess. All right. Everybody got a normal age. Uh, I say we go reform the coinage this time around. 
because that'll be a uh, significant source of era score, because we're trading so much. Let's get castles, because it's only going to take one turn. Oh, hello. We'd better send some people to deal with that, hadn't we? You guys can go help, too. Scout, just run for your life. If you can. Okay. Ooh, I don't know how my scout survived that, but I'm glad that he did. Okay. Run! Limp back to friendly territory. Alright, let's get stirrups. So that we can make knights. Demo knights, specifically, because we're Scotland. No one, no one who's watching this video is going to know what a demo knight is. I kind of just dated myself with that, I think. Alright, so let's go. Do we want to go monarchy? Eh, we can for now, I guess. Okay. Um. Yeah, we can do that. Swap that out. For that. And then... Do that, and that'll take care of our social policies for the time being. Okay. Promote. Utilism Civic. Okay. We can finally become suzerain of a city-state, I think. Get em, boyos! Uh-oh. Alright, you're gonna fortify till healed. You guys are gonna come on up here. See if you guys can pull this off. You can. Outstanding. So we won't have to worry about barbarians spawning there. And our swordsmen were killed in retaliation, but... You know what? That's fine. Okay, you guys are gonna go back to friendly territory. Now we're gonna get shipbuilding. Yep, see, I told you Japan would start trying to convert us to their religion. Uh, we're gonna trade with the Aztecs. Alright, you can go back to exploring now, because the barbarians are gone. Alright, we'll see if we can build that. Okay. I cannot imagine any condition in democracy. All right. We're going to send our archers to deal with those boats. They're starting to become a bit of a nuisance. Do we even need to do that actually? Oh, we can upgrade these guys. Can't upgrade our swordsmen yet, and we can't upgrade our archers yet because we don't have machinery. So let's get that now. And then get mercenaries. You guys are just going to hang out in that city, I think. No te mini capa paquisica mojaujoto, cual te potstoca tlacael. Your eyes terrify me. Just saying. Okay, so that's our third trader. Yep. Trade with that city-state. You guys are gonna fortify. You guys are gonna destroy that boat. Alright, you guys are gonna come down here. Is despoiled by oh yeah <laughs> the members of the emergency must prevent sterling from following hojo tokimene's religion for 11 turns all right the holy city of the holy light to buddhism 
Okay. So this is what you call an emergency. There are military emergencies, religious emergencies, in Gathering Storm there are natural disaster emergencies. Basically, if one sieve or a natural disaster screws over a particular sieve, uh, you can declare an emergency and hope that any other sieves join in to help you. So, uh, Japan just converted our holy city to their religion, so we're gonna have to see what we can do about that. Alright, so we're gonna send you there. Remember that people break down. Okay, so no one is helping me, which is unfortunate, but I think I might be able to do something about it. Even so. Alright. So, instead of making builders, we're gonna put that there. We're gonna make... gonna buy a builder. Or two. It won't let us buy two, but that's fine. We're gonna make a holy site for the holy light. We're gonna buy this tile. Plonk our holy site there. Alright, let's get... Hmm. Banking, I guess. I'd better maintain my hold on this place. Alright, we're gonna... Start constructing some improvements and also upgrade our archers. There we go, that got us the Eureka for metal casting as well. Oh man, there's another barbarian encampment up there. Well, I guess we'd better go deal with that, hadn't we? Go get them, boys. Alright, you're gonna make a plantation on those bananas. Lazy and unworthy. Do you realize who you're talking to, matey? Alright, that's a good deal from Pericles, I think. You're back, huh? See what that got you? Got you killed, pretty much. Alright. So, you're gonna go over there. Alright, we're gonna take care of that boat once and for all. Another plantation on those bananas. And then... You guys are gonna go make some fishing boats on those fish. Otherwise they'd just be boats. You can't go around arresting them. Alright. So we've encountered some barbarians whom we are going to shoot in the face. Alright, let's get medieval fares. Uh, who we got? Ooh, okay. And we can get... Yeah, let's get this guy too. Just because we can. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to appoint this guy... Put him in this city, because he's the religious leader, so maybe he'll be able to help us stave off Japan's religion. And then Galileo, we're gonna put you right there to do your thing. Fishing boats, nice. You. Alright, you're gonna go down to the commercial hub and do your thing. You're going to fortify until healed. And you're going to do that. Okay. I saw a bank that said 20. Let's see what we can research now. Let's definitely get gunpowder while it's uh, easier to get, even though we don't have niter. 
It is a beautiful and important monument and an international intercultural treasure. Unless and until it can be shared by both religions in harmony, which would be a grand idea, it should remain a secular building, honoring both religions who have made it beautiful. All right, so there's that. That gets us an extra error score. All right, so now uh, we're gonna make the university, medieval walls, an entertainment complex, which we shall put over there. And then can't build any, wait, is this the, okay. So we're gonna, actually, let's reevaluate our production queue here. There we go. That should do. Boop, boop. Everyone seems to Everybody like me so far, at least. I hope I haven't jinxed anything by saying that. Alright. We've at least got to get one more era score within the next 10 turns. I think that's doable. All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Indeed. Okay. So, we're gonna get Reformed Church, because our military advisor said that that'd be a good thing to do. Okay. So we're going to promote him. Shoot you guys in the face. I'm just going to delete this scout. I really don't need it anymore. Alright, we got the error score that we needed. Ah, man. That's not good. I guess we'll start trading with the Dutch. Send them to Harlem. That's fun to say. Shoot those guys again. They're dead. So now we've got a turn or two to... Did you just say something about Alka-Seltzer? I really don't speak your language. Anyway, I was, as I was saying, we've got a couple turns to go clear out that barbarian encampment once and for all. So let's do that. There we go. We've killed so many barbarians. Alright, that's an extra three error score. That's nice. You guys are going to fortify until healed. Oops, didn't mean to bring that up. Alright. Um, going to make an industrial zone here, which shall be placed there, and then an amphitheater, then walls, alright, send them there. Alright. Ooh, if we're lucky, we may actually get a golden age here. Man, more barbarians, really? Alright, so shrine. Unless I can just buy one of those, I can. Outstanding. Alright, so now we're gonna buy some missionaries to start the process of reclaiming our territory for the Holy Light as opposed to Buddhism. We're gonna repair this city's outer defenses, because I have a feeling that's gonna come in handy. Okay, so you guys are gonna go do this. You guys are gonna go... You guys are gonna help in Sterling too. I have a feeling it's gonna be necessary. Shoot them in the face. 
Alright, now what's this city gonna do? What does this wonder do? Eh. Alright, so... Temple. Arena. Walls. Then we can start working on a navy. Couple of those. Ooh. We'll take your delegation. And first Hephaestus makes it the three great elements of Alright, let's have a look here. Theocracy. Eh. Don't really see a need to switch to that. So these guys are getting promoted. So that they are stronger and will not die. Now let's get cartography. And diplomatic service. Alright, see what you can do, lads. I know it's a tall order, but you gotta try and help us out here. Hey there, Phoenix fans. The future editing version of David Sanders here. I've been talking with some colleagues of mine here at Phoenix Gaming HQ, and uh, we've all come to the consensus that in order to make this series more digestible for especially those of you who are just starting out with Civ 6, I should cut it down into shorter episodes rather than having you uh, sit here and watch me play Civ for an hour or up to two at a time. So, with that said, I'm just gonna go ahead and end things here, and uh, I'll see you next episode. This will become a more uniform thing throughout the rest of this series, which will unfortunately probably double its length, but that is the price that must be paid in order to make this series more digestible, I think. So, as always, you've been watching Phoenix Gaming. My name is once again David Sanders. Thank you very much for watching, and always remember, this channel is nothing without the support and viewership of our fans just like you. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.